When it comes to Cisco ASA AnyConnect, one of the most challenging topics to understand is the licensing. It is a bit frustrating to understand how licensing works because there are many different licenses and every now and then Cisco changed the license model as well. What I will describe in this video is how AnyConnect licensing works when it comes to AnyConnect version 3.x. There's currently version 4 out with new licenses. I will talk about those in a later added lecture because it's so new now. To see what licenses you have available in the firewall, you use the CLI command show version. It will give you a lot of output about which versions are running in the firewall, what type of hardware it is, and so on. But the part we want to look at right here is the license part. It looks like this. And here you can see everything that is about licenses in this firewall. The part we are interested in when it comes to AnyConnect is, first of all, if we have AnyConnect Essentials or not. AnyConnect Essentials is by default not available. If you want to enable AnyConnect Essentials, there is a CLI command for that. And you cannot enter the CLI command before adding a license for AnyConnect Essentials. What Essentials does is to allow the maximum number of concurrent VPN sessions for that hardware model at the same time with some limitations. For each hardware model, there is a number of total VPN pairs. This is the number we can see here. For the ASA V that I'm running here, there is a total number of 250 VPN pairs. That means that the platform cannot handle more than 250 concurrent VPN sessions. If I buy a license for AnyConnect Essentials and enable AnyConnect Essentials, that means that I can run 250 concurrent VPN clients running AnyConnect at the same time with a few limitations. The major limitation with AnyConnect Essentials is that you cannot use the client-less portal. There is a client-less portal in the firewall as well, and with the Essentials, you cannot use that. I will explain that soon. If you do not have Essentials enabled, the number of concurrent users for AnyConnect will be based on the number of AnyConnect Premium peers. By default, in all firewalls, that is two. That means that any ASA firewalls without any added licenses in the firewall, by default, can have two concurrent users for AnyConnect. Premium is the opposite for Essentials, and if you have Premium peers, you can also use the client-less portal. You have either Essentials or Premium peers. If you have not enabled Essentials, you're running on the Premium licenses. That means that in this example, I can run two concurrent VPN sessions with AnyConnect, because there is the built-in limitation of two premium peers. If I buy an Essentials license and enable Essentials, this number is no longer in use. Instead, this number is in use, 250. If I enable Essentials, I can have 250 concurrent VPN sessions with the limitation of not using the clientless portal. While right now, when I do not have Essentials, I am counting on the two premium peers and I can use two concurrent sessions without any limitations. Also, that is for computers. If you want to have mobile devices like iPads, iPhones, Android phones to connect with AnyConnect, you also need one additional mobile license. Now it's starting to be a bit confusing. I will show you. I have on my blog created a flowchart it's called Cisco ASA AnyConnect Licenses for Dummies. This is on my blog, netzero.net. If you Google for AnyConnect Licenses, you will probably find this as one of the top hits because I have thousands of visitors every month to this flowchart. Again, this is for the 3.x license model. I will add information about 4.x later on. If we look at this one, you can see here which licenses you need to add. First of all, there is one additional license that I did not mention. It's called Advanced Endpoint Assessment. If you need that one, you can also scan your local computer for viruses or if it is compliant to your security policies. That's rarely being used. In order to do that, you need to have the Advanced Endpoint Assessment license added to the firewall. By using that feature, you can scan your computer when it connects with AnyConnect if it fulfills the security requirements of the network. If it does not, you can put it into some kind of quarantine. 
and you can have the client update it and then put back into the proper network after that. So it's rarely being used. If you need advanced endpoint assessment, you need to have a specific license for that. And that's this one here. Normally, you do not need that. So you follow this track here. The next question, if you need to use the client-less portal that I just mentioned, if you do that, you need to have premium licenses. Then you follow the instruction here about how to add premium licenses because two that is default can be upgraded to more in different steps, which I describe here. If you do not need the clientless portal, which is the most common choice, you add one AnyConnect Essentials license that will add Essentials functionality to the firewall. And this box will describe which license you need. Also, if you need connection from mobile devices, you also need a mobile license down here, and then you're done. This is the most common track to not use advanced endpoint assessment, to not use the SSL VPN portal, the clientless, to have mobile devices connected, yes here and up here. And if you follow these instructions, you will find out which license you need. Once again, for 3.x. This means that the default licenses in the firewall gives us ability to do whatever we want. We can also do the clientless portal configuration. We can try all functions we want in the firewall without any limitations, other that you can have maximum two concurrent sessions. That means that you can have two users connected at the same time to the firewall.